Radio, hello everyone. Um, this video is going to be on the mechanical pencil. A bit random given all the other things that I've been putting up lately, but uh, especially in the context of my left handedness, this you know, horrible affliction that makes me not a particularly good writer. Uh, my, my hand has to go over, the, over the, the paper where I've just done the writing, just like any other left hander will tell you. Uh, and this means that in general I've kind of not really cared too much about my writing implements. Although I do remember as a kid thoroughly enjoying the the pacer. This um, what is it? It's a paper mate. If we go in there, we can see it is an old school paper mate pacer. Uh, Zero point five mil. It's a standard, you know, mechanical clicky uh, clicky pen where the, the lead advances every time you click the click the button at the top. The lead comes out. Uh, I think I've got this one set as a. 0.5 millimeter and it'll have an HB. It's pretty standard. All right, so one thing about mechanical pencils is that you've got a lot less lead uh, sticking out of the end of the pencil than you would if you were using a, uh, a standard pencil. So, you know, the, the mass of carbon there that's poking out the end is much smaller. And that means you've got less writing time before you have to do something about it. And also, it means that any change to that angle on the tip is going to affect the width of the line on, on your paper. So it's always been a bit of a problem. And when you, when you write using a mechanical pencil, you tend to, be, you tend to have to spin the thing around a little bit just, um, just as you write so that the lead uh, doesn't you know, blunt um, or come out a bit differently. So if I just do lots and lots of little lines like this, after a while, you'll see that, especially if it's on a high angle, you kind of blunten it out, and the width of the lines now is going to be thicker at the end than when you started. Right? So the ones at the beginning there you can see are rather thin, and the ones at the end are quite fat now. All right, so you know that, and that is basically from for the reason that I told you there. It's that um, the the lead there, as you can see, uh, it's going to zoom on the zoom on the end of the pencil there, please. Yes, oi. Okay, so you see there how it's got a bit of an angle on it there. That's what happens when you, you don't rotate the pen as you're writing. So they teach you to do this. They say, while you're writing uh, with pencil, a mechanical pencil, you should be rotating it ever so slightly in your hand. So the geniuses at, um, at uni, uh, uni Ball or uni, uh, just uni, or there's the Mitsubishi Pen Company, I think. Um, there we are, Uni. They've come out with this thing called the Uni Kuru Toga. It's been out for a while now. I only just found out about it because I'm not really into um, into pens in general, writing implements in general. Um, but hey, I heard about this one, and the thing that's special about this one is that as you write, so it's a mechanical pencil just like all of them. But as you write, uh, every time that you take the pencil off the paper, uh, the lead inside will be rotated a few degrees. Uh, so as you write, if you just keep doing lots of small brush strokes. Uh, you should see that the lead should even out, and we shouldn't have the same behaviour as we had with the uh, with the other one. So this is a 0 0.7 mil instead of the 0 0.5, and I do believe that I put in a 2B instead of an HB because I like the I like the 2B leads. So there we are. What, what have we got here? Let's have a look. So we've got uh, at the end there. It's a little wider than before, but that's because it's a that's a 0 0.7 instead of a 0 0.5. But then we go back to the beginning, and look, they're all quite wide to begin with. Yeah. All right, so that's great. So there seems to be an improvement, but who writes with all these long, like short strokes and takes the pen off the and takes the pencil off the paper? Well, it's not us. And by us, I mean Westerners in general. So we write either cursive writing, or we have letters where you don't take the pen off the paper until you've at least written one letter. Uh, so you know, with your kanji in Japanese and your your characters in Chinese, I'm not quite sure what they call them there. I assume it's much the same. Uh, but you take the pen off the paper a lot more when you're in in, um, in those cultures. So whereas here it will rotate enough if you're doing lots and lots of little strokes like that. Uh, if we write, you know, Simon, it's me, and I'll just uh, do a like this, All right? And if you look down carefully, what have we got? reasonably thin. It should start getting a bit fatter by the end, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, point is, uh, it's different in Western countries than it is in the Eastern countries. And so the good people at, at uni, uni ball, 
have uh, doubled the velocity of the uh, of the angular rotation. So now instead of rotating x degrees, it it'll, it's going to turn by double the double the angle. That is on this model. That's that's on the advance. So here's another beautiful pen, right? So the first one here, actually, I should have mentioned the price. This was just over five Aussie dollars at uh, Officeworks here in here in Perth. This one here was not from Perth. I had to get this online. It wasn't a huge amount of money. It actually, like it's, it's the only one that's got a full, oh no, that's not true, but it's got a nice a metal part to it. So this one is the advance upgrade. So the advance means that it now rotates the barrel twice as quickly. And the upgrade is that it's replaced the plastic housing with this really nice anodized aluminium, what I can assume. It's very lightweight. Um, yeah, so I've done a bit of video magic here. What have I done? I've put on these little tiny bits of sticky tape on the ends. So there we go. This is the going back to that original one. You can see how the sticky tape is straight up and down there. Now, if I do 10 strokes on the side, put the advance upgrade out. I'll just have a look. So, make sure the lid's still there. Might zoom in a bit. Yep. Yes. Oh, the brightness is silly. Zoom in a bit, so you can see the the um, yeah the sticky tape's up and down now. So let's do maybe ten short strokes. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And where is it now? Okay, well it's not up and down anymore. It's gone off to the side. In fact, yeah, it's it's um, ninety degrees out now. It's facing straight out to the right. Come on, come on, focus, oi. Yeah, so straight out to the right. So that was 10 strokes. Let's try the uh, the advance upgrade again. So 10 strokes. The moment's facing straight up. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. So 10 goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nothing much. Maybe I have to press it. Let's try that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It is double, right? So that's rotated now. It's facing the boat. It's facing towards me. So it's rotated a full 180 degrees just from those 10 strokes. Let's try it again. So show I'm not lying. Get it on the angle. Oh no, it's a bit more up and down. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what do you have it? Look at that. It's back up the top again. All right, let's try it just to be sure with the original one. So before we thought, yeah, yeah, it's gone about 90 degrees. Let's try again. 10 more strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, yep, just as before, it's rotated 45 degrees. No, 90 degrees. Idiot. Come on, 90 degrees. So, facing out towards the right. So, the other one seems to be rotating about twice as rapidly. Cool. That's those ones. I've still got a couple to show you. The next one is the roulette. Now, this one surprised me. I, didn't, I did not expect this to be such a nice pen. Um, you know, the advance upgrade that came with the metal is advertised as such. It's supposed to be this, you know, u butte one with double speed and also it's had an upgraded body, so it's got some metal to it. But really, this one here, it feels a lot more like um, one of those German, what is it, the, the rot Roto, I forget what they call it. Anyway, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a writer or I'm not really a technical drawer. I'm, I'm on computers all the time. I don't really use these things all that much. Um, these also, you can see... Yeah, so it's got a little bit of a, a window there where you can see the inside. And watch, if I press down, this is kind of cool. You just press down and, and release. Now look at that window. Keep an eye on it. Oh, look. There we are. Look at that. So the logo on the barrel is now visible because it's rotated just the right amount. If I keep pressing it down, it's just going to disappear. There we are. So you can see the barrel rotating before your very eyes. Do it a few more times, a bit quicker, and there it is. Very cool. Yeah, this this feels really nice in the hand. It's quite it's quite heavy. Um, you know, it's got this nice grippy area here. Um, there's there's um, you know the the designation of the lead at the top, so you can rotate it much like some other fancy pens where you can. Oh, what does it say there? It's hard to see. But you know, it's um, oh, it's Japan. What do you know? It's not really what I was after. 
Oh, it's not on this one. Goodness. Let's be on the advanced upgrade. Is that the original one? No, it's not on that one. I'm confused. Mm, no, not that one either. Hmm. Don't know. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Okay, but this one. Let's put the lead out again. A bit more. To 1.0. And do a few more lines with this one, so it just writes so nicely and smooth and consistent, maybe. Yeah, it's, it does get a bit wider. I think it does. I guess the lead was out fresh. Let's um, start up here and go again. I wasn't lifting it off the paper actually. That's what it might have been. Yeah, it's getting consistent now, isn't it? Very nice. So yeah, I love this pen. It's uh, it's the what is it, the roulette? I think they call it the Unicure Toga roulette. Also rather cheap. I suppose I shouldn't say cheap. People. Uh, you know, these days, what do you say? Inexpensive, or, you know, it's good value, something like that. Anyway, it's cheap. It's amazing. It's good cheap. Let's tell you what, that's in contrast to something a bit more special. That is this one. Hey, I'm surprised. This one turned up today. So, people who know the Unicru Togas, they will have heard of these ones. So these, they released... 5,000 of them. They were a one-off thing. They were pretty special. They've got some extra funky things that you don't tend to see at all on pencils. Um, nice box as well. Yeah. So it was a limited edition. It came out and was sold out pretty much right away. They no longer make them. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be any more in a hurry. The price is now well over 100 US dollars when you want to buy one. Uh, there's different colours. I think this one's the more common one from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, you know, ten, 10 times the price of any of the others, pretty much. But it's more of a collector's item now. So, what makes it special? Anything? Or is it just because it's rare? Well, no, actually, there is something quite. Well, there's a couple of things quite incredible about this pen. So, let's get it out. What have we got? It is the dive, so Unicru Toga dive. So already, let's look at the body. It's quite quite unusual, and it looks like it's metal, like the upgrade, but it's not. It's plastic, and that's weird, right? So, but it doesn't really matter because it's not why it's not why you want it. It's not the the, the finish of it. It's the technical stuff going on on the inside. All right, so it's a zero point five. First thing you notice when you take the lid off is the click. I tell you, it's really nice, um, but it's it's actually even nicer when it goes back on because check this, check this. Oh, hear that noise? Yep, it's magnets. Ugh, love the noise. Love that click. All right, so that's the first thing. It's got a lid, which is weird for a pencil like that, isn't it? Typically, like the lead could break. Well, that's not with this one. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What do we got here? A tip here is where some of the technical stuff starts to make a bit more sense. So, right there, you can see, so I'm, I'm left-handed, so as I said, if you, if you had a look there, it's got settings on the end, right? It's got max, mid, and min, of course, and settings in between. And so the end here, you can actually rotate, there's a little dot where, it's sort of on max at the moment, you can rotate it away to min, and what that is, is the setting of how far you want the lead to stick out when you take the lid off the pen. Whoa, what are you talking about, Willis? Well, let's do this. Click here, push it down a bit, and look, the lead is coming out. It gives it away what's going to be happening to this pen, right? So, lead's gone, put it back into the, back into the body, yeah. We'll get the get the lid back on. Put the lid on. And 
click. Lovely. So the lead's gone, but now, click it off. Hey, the lead is back. It's better than that, even. Change hands again, I'll show you where the real magic happens. So, not much lead left. Right. I'm still going to do the rotating, just like all the other ones. Um, but now, if I... Oh, come on. Yeah, if I do some lines with this one... Doop, doop. There's not much lead left, hey? Yeah, there's not much lead at all. But, for some unknown reason... Well, it's not unknown. I've already spoken about it, haven't we? The lead keeps coming out. And it's consistent. Look at this. So still thin, same line width, and there's still some pencil lead. And if we look at it, yeah, it's still a bit there. Actually, while I'm while I'm uh, writing with that little bit there, as it presses down on the tip, it extends some more for the next couple of strokes, right? So. Dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah, like that. Have a look. Yeah, it still has that little bit left. And that'll keep going until the lead runs out. Yeah. So the idea here is that it's very rare that you need to even click the button. There is a button. Look at that. But you don't need to press it. And so when you put the lid away, when you put it back with the lid on, you can either you can press the lid back in by yourself, like press the button and press the lid into the body, but you don't need to. And as we said before, it goes into the into the cap, and when you take the cap off, like magic, the lid has reappeared. <sighs> so nice. So silly, but so nice. And such an unusual collectible, right? Because you won't be able to find it anywhere. Well, definitely not in the shops. And uh, people don't really know about these unless you're really, really, really into pencils. And let's face it, there aren't that many people that are really, really, really into pencils. Anyway, this really got me going. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful set of pencils. <sighs> I might start using them again.